that she liked me since I've been around and I don't know. Count me in. Uh, three, two, one. We just uh, cut our record at, at Sonic Ranch because um, our producer Mike Marsh had a really good thing to say about the studio. It's uh, on this largest con farm and it's the world's largest residential recording studio. Um, it's got some great gear. Lots of uh, really awesome bands have recorded there like the Dixie Chicks, the Head in the Heart, Sublime, Sloggy Molly. Um, so they, they've got a great reputation um, with those artists and we uh, really owe like a lot of the sounds that have come out of the studio before. So yeah, one of my favorite things to do on the road is uh, called rest stops, and that's where we stop uh, at any rest stop that's around some of the bigger cities we've been playing. And since we're always on the road so much, we've found that playing music at the rest stops is always great because we're usually in really pretty areas, and it's really fun to connect with some some people before the show who come out for just that nice day outside and listen to us play some music. So we promote them on our social media sites called Rest Stop. And yeah, we'd love to see you out there. Working with Mike Marsh has been awesome. He's just such an incredible musician, and he's able to shed so much great light on a lot of our songs. And not only that, but he's super confident in the project, which is really exciting for us. And having him be so excited about it really gets us uh, you know, pumped for the album. And selfishly, as a drummer, it's amazing to be working with such an incredible other drummer. And he's been able to help me with a lot of cool suggestions about what to do, what to play, and how to play. I think one of my favorite tour memories was when we were uh, in Utah last year. Uh, we discovered pretty quickly that Utah has some pretty strict laws about playing in bars if you're under 21, and unfortunately I I couldn't play a couple of the shows that we had when we were in Utah. I remember one night I was sitting outside of the bus, they had to play the show without me. They were playing one of my songs. I was just sitting in the back door listening. I was kind of sad. But uh, we missed another show because they wouldn't let us play because I wasn't 21. And we ended up going and staying at a youth hostel. Um, and we ended up playing a show there for all the people that were staying at the youth hostel. And we met some really cool people from all over the world. And, and we just had a great time playing music. This game is what I hope is that this album hits our fans the way that some of my favorite albums have hit me, where every single word on the album felt like it was in place, every single note felt like it was like put there. So I'm really excited to be like crafting an album that I think a lot of our fans are going to be excited about. So to be honest, I'm just as excited as some of the people. I'm excited to see what comes out of this studio.